he asked me if I could help him with hearings that he wanted to hold on outer space to see whether or not the United States was prepared for this situation. And I said yes. beyond the increases I have earlier requested for space activities to provide the funds which are needed to meet the following national goals. First, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift up on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Here's the 
Captain, you are go for staging. And we're getting a picture on the There's TV. The surface appears to be uh, very, very fine grained as you get close to it. I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Uh, Neil and Buzz, uh, the President of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. That would be an honor. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. Apollo 11, tiny north. So at last, the greatest adventure in history ended as it had begun, perfectly. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. First use a space shuttle discovery as it bears down on the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, Main gear touchdown. The nose of the shuttle being rotated down toward the flight deck. The parachute being deployed. against the atmosphere. 